here getting out the Beater 250SX. She's been in hibernation. Looking pretty good. Really need to pull out that one. 250R. That one's next. Harbor Freight had a sale, so we stocked up. Here's the nice 250SX. This thing's actually like pretty minty. And there's a beater. Oh yeah. This headlight weighs so much. I don't know what they were thinking, but that is some thick metal. She's been sitting a while too. Worst part is those back wheels for sure. Oh my gosh, they're so ugly. I got some better wheels for it. And I don't think I'm cool enough for the stickers. <laughs> I'm gonna take those off for sure. But first, blow it off, cause she's nasty. Last time I was driving this thing, it was running pretty bad, and I think it's in the carburetor. That's probably gonna be the issue. I thought it was electrical, and I really hope it's not, but I think it's just not getting enough fuel. But I'm gonna clean that carb out and rebuild it. I got a proper boot for that. I'm definitely gonna slap that on there. Get rid of this headlight, put a better one on it. I got a couple spares out back, I'm pretty sure, so go snag one of those and fix that up. Get rid of this. Which is hilarious. Hey, didn't even realize someone had made some really janky battery box extensions. Instead of just buying the right battery, like this one, the battery was thirty dollars. <laughs> thirty bucks. So I'll snag another one of those. Get rid of these. That is crazy. It's a new day. Um, I got cold and tired, so we went to bed. I just got off the bench which is this beautiful road up here, yonder, in my Jeep, flew some drones, almost lost a drone, didn't lose a drone, great success. And then I listed the Jeep for sale because I'm done with it. But anyways, I'm gonna pull this carburetor off and I'm gonna clean it. And also found that lovely snap bolt. So should probably take that out maybe, maybe, uh, I don't know, we'll see. Carb has been removed on the bench, and uh, this valve is stuck open. So, right off the bat, that should be moving with the throttle, and it's not. Oh yeah, nice and sticky. So, definitely gonna have to clean that up. But it looks like it has a Chinese air fuel adjuster in it, so it's probably been rebuilt. I honestly can't remember if I pulled this car apart. I don't think I did, so probably first time being opened up, but I'm going to crack this bad boy open. Okay, that gasket's definitely been replaced. The bowl is pretty clean. Jets, everything looks pretty nice, actually. So, probably had bad gas sitting in it, and... Uh, stuck oh yeah the jet's holding it on okay okay that's missing out of this <laughs> I, I honestly do not know what the importance of this is i mean i think it's to stop fuel from sloshing uh, i don't know maybe if you know let me know what does this piece of plastic do i'm gonna pull the jets clean them i'm gonna get this slide to work properly and uh put it back together it's gonna be mint okay so good news um She's super crusty, so that's got to be why it wasn't running right. Um, it's just this bad gas just sitting in there. She's very crusty. So when I did this carb, funny enough, this is the main jet. It sits right there. Oops, I guess I better actually point it. So that's the main jet, and it takes this cap, which is a much bigger hole. It's got a big hole in it. That sits right there, and this jet sits in here. The smaller jet has a small hole. So when I took this carburetor apart, this small jet was inside this big jet. And this big jet was where the small jet goes. And I drove this thing around for not a whole ton, but I drove it. It drove pretty good. The jets were completely swapped. So when I pulled the spark plug out and replaced it, this is what it looked like running way too lean on the top end, which makes sense, the jet was backwards. 
and running too hot. So I'm really glad I took this thing. It was leaking gas. It was running okay, so I was not going to mess with it. But it was leaking gas. So I'm really glad I took this apart and just got that swapped. Otherwise, probably would have melted something eventually over time. But I'm going to clean these jets real quick. Slap this bad boy back together. And uh, put her back on there. Okay, really quick. This is funny. So I took out the air fuel adjuster. And I was like, man, they actually did it right. As you can see, spring washer O-ring. And I was like, man, they did it right. This is the first one in a long time I've seen that they actually did it right. I only said that a couple hundred times. But if you look down in there, there's an extra O-ring. So they didn't get the old O-ring out. They just double O-ringed it, which is okay. But when you try and adjust it properly, it's going to be... It's gonna be kind of weird. Tension will be weird. It could bind up. Who knows? Maybe it'll be fine. It's a Honda, but I'm gonna get the other O ring out of there and run it with the one O ring because that's how it's supposed to be. Unless I'm totally wrong and it takes two O rings. Who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. All right, everything is clean, looking good. Now I'm gonna put it all back together. Okay, she's in. You ever tell yourself, do it this way, and then you completely do it the wrong way with absolutely no thought process going into it? I told myself, put the throttle cable on first because you gotta spin the carb, and then I put the choke on first. So then I had to take the choke off, put the car throttle on, and then the choke back on. Anyways, it's back together. Also, when you're putting these carbs in, I take this off halfway. When the carb's halfway out, it makes getting it out easier. And putting it in easier, you gotta put it in when it's halfway in. Anyway, anyway, I'm not gonna put the airbags on. I'm gonna put the gas on, make sure it runs first. If it runs, then I'll put it all back together. Well, turned on the old petcock and she crapped out on me. Started leaking fuel, so almost positive I have a couple of spares of those. But I'm gonna see if this freaking thing fires up. Let's we'll see if she fires up. Choke and help. Oh man, that cable's routed every wrong direction. <laughs> Can we get some back pressure on her. Check that out. Fresh uni. I did that. That was me. It probably didn't even have an air filter in it. Man, she's just purring. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna put that air box back on. And uh, definitely swap out the pet dog. I freaking hate these gas tanks. They're plastic. The caps are trash. Like, straight garbage. The dude had a piece of wood jammed in there to stop the fuel from coming out. Goodness gracious. I have a couple extra metal tanks. They all need to be cleaned, but ideally a metal tank on it. But man, she's running great. If I wanted to put the choke on, she probably would have fired up first kick. Yes. I better not run it too long or else I'm going to fill the house with fumes. It's another new day and first things first, I'm swapping those wheels. Well, no wonder this back wheel was wobbling. It's wallowed out. Okay, so I'm back here in the graveyard, part of it. And I actually have another set of Honda wheels right there. They're not my brand, brand new set that I have up there. On section two of three of the graveyard, whatever. Anyways, those are great. Great tread. I think I'm going to use those ones instead. Well, gosh dang it. They're freaking weather checked. But... Good thing it's just a beater. I'd love to get some tread off that before these tires are completely shot. So I'm going to use them. Poor 250X. 
four poor two fifty eight. All right, well, immediately I see they're not gonna work because the freaking drum's too big; it won't fit. So I don't really know if I want to put spacers on it, but that might be the move. Sadly. All right, so basically, those wheels don't fit. They need spacers, and I have another two fifty SX out back with like brand new tires, weather checked, of course, but um. It's kind of tucked away. I don't really want to pull it out. And so I think I'm going to order spacers for these because I like the width. I like them slightly wider. So I'm thinking one inch spacers. I'm going to double check, but I'm going to run the old junkers for now. They just lose air quick. It's not like I'm taking this thing on any road trips anyways, um, but I'm going to order spacers, get those installed. I would rob them off the other, but it's in a tight spot and I plan on using them for another one of these so i don't really want to have wheels everywhere because i'll definitely forget i only have a couple million things to try and remember so yeah anyways that's that's what i'm gonna do. or hmm we could just freaking paddle it that looks freaking sick i think i need to try that out honestly i don't think it'll do amazing but that looks really cool all right, airbox is installed. So this boot is pretty dang shot, very hard. So I heated it up for a couple minutes. And uh, as you can see, she's not really where I want it to be on either side. But the problem is you try and clamp this down and then you try and pull it to this side and it pops off this side. So it's on both sides. Not how I want it to be, but it's on there and it's gonna work. And I'm going to go grab the tube that runs from here to the frame out of my storage because I have an extra one of those. Um, this guy decided to run his choke over the bars instead of through the bars. And that doesn't really like to move easily, believe it or not. I know it's hard to imagine, but yeah, it doesn't want to move. He also did some custom wiring, which looks so good. Like I'm tempted to leave it because it looks so good. I think I'm gonna have to get rid of that for sure. There used to be a toggle switch dangling off of there. When I was riding, it kept cutting out. Yeah, a toggle switch was shot. But anyway, I'm gonna pull this bar up, move the wires inside, put it back down, put the tube on. Yes, crappy tires are back on for now. I got them centered the best I could and they're gonna work, they're gonna work. Rerouted and it actually works. Lovely, so. Got the tube out of storage, and it's actually nice and pliable, so pumped about that. Missing a hose clamp, as you can see, missing a hose clamp. But, but, I have a couple thousand in here, probably a couple hundred, but we're gonna find one. Boot installed nicely. I actually found like an OEM clamp, and it works perfect, so she's nice and installed. I'm gonna do a nice fresh layer of this just right over the weeds because you know how she goes. The weeds, actually, this is basically a three-stage filter instead of a two-stage. The weeds are another stage. So, yeah, she'll be mint. All right, she's running great. Um, the gas cap was cheapy garbage. I think I talked about it. It was leaking. So I found this off of Suzuki out back, and it fits somewhat, and it doesn't leak. So that's a win. The bars were bent back tremendously, so they're straight now. And uh, I still want to do that headlight. And this front fender's loose as well. And the idle is being finicky. But she freaking rips. Ignore that. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, one handed. Let's see if we can freaking pop her up one handed. This could get sketchy. Just took the dogs for a run and I had a blast on this thing. I actually really like these bars. 
Stark bars are nice, but these bars, it's a totally different feel. Um, I should have replaced this before I went, but I didn't. Also, I noticed my forks are totally not leveled. So when I do new boots, which will be soon because this one's hammered, I'm going to do that. But yeah, this freaking thing weighs, I should throw it on my scale. I bet that's four, three pounds. I bet that's three pounds, two or three. But, oh, you know what? They have a wired... So this was the kill switch, but it was also the light switch? Weird. Anyway, I have an air-cooled 250R out back that someone retrofitted a uh, 250SX headlight on. And it's in better shape than this, so I think I'm going to swap it. It's painted, so I'm going to have to clean it up. But, um, yeah, and that's bent as well. Bummer. I think I have an extra out back. We'll see. But I'm going to undo this, and we'll see you at the 250R. We are up here at the two or, oh freak, the three, not the two wheeler, the three wheeler graveyard. Not really graveyard. That one runs, that one runs, has a steering stem issue, the bearings. That 200X right there runs. Um, That is a freaking Tri-Z 250 with a 900cc Yamaha street bike engine in it. Apparently someone died on that, so that's pretty sweet. Another 250R right there. But yeah, we're here at this. Let me switch back. Yep. Uh, freaking 81, I think. Yeah, it has the drum brake. Yeah. 81 250R air cooled. This thing has seen it all. Like, quite literally, someone got real thrifty there. Not, not super pumped about this one. This one runs, but yeah, they, they busted out the welder. They had fun. This seat is, I have no idea. I think it was supposed to be, oh, there it goes, okay. But anyways, painted, but honestly in good shape. No cracks or nothing that I can see. So I'm gonna pop that sucker off. One-handed, maybe. Uh, yep, and there she is. Look at that, someone got thrifty. That's a freaking 250SX front fender. Good to know, I'm gonna use that. Cool. I don't know if I'll ever fix this thing. Maybe I'll probably honestly use it for parts. I mean, it's mostly there, but they freaking welded everything. Those goofy goobers. All right, we got the headlight. Yes. All right, I'm back here at my other 250SXs. This one supposedly runs. This one, the guy said he swapped the crank, so I'm going to definitely put a different engine in that one because, yeah, no idea what he was doing in there, but... I don't trust it. Anyway, looking for a strap, found one, boom. This one is pretty freaking hammered. They cut it, messed it up, but it's got a nice strap. So I'm gonna take that strap. And also, I got me a decent, okay. Okay, that's stuck, but didn't right there, but that tank looks pretty sweet. I'd rather have that than the plastic one. Yeah. I think I'm gonna use that tank. Shouldn't be too, too bad. Not right now though. Not right now. I'm just taking the strap. Okay. Went ahead and pulled both the straps so I can put the paint stripper on there and uh, make my job a little bit easier. Hopefully I won't even have to scrape it. But as you can see here, those mounts have seen better days like holy freaking sideways. And it looks like someone had a home in here. Oh my goodness, that's a big nest. Oh, hopefully there's not a live one in there. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, those mounts are bent, so I'm going to try and bend them back. I went ahead and pulled apart this custom wiring harness the guy had made. And that is the headlight wire right there. But it's missing the triple plug. And I believe that's for the key switch. This is for the bar pad. So I'm really hoping I can find a bar pad, a key switch, and the plug for the lights. So I'm gonna go look out back and see what I can find. So I got stickers removed and the, uh, yeah, the ones on the back are gone. They left a little bit of a uh, reminder, but there she goes. Anyways, I found the plug, whoopee. Um, I also found key switch and I have two bar pads. One's cracked pretty bad. The other one's pretty decent, but I can rob it and then I'll need it again for the other one out back, so. I don't really need a key switch on this thing. I, I really don't care. So I'm not gonna run the bar pad on this one, but I do need this 
and I found it. So that's good news. Trying to bend these tabs really carefully without breaking the whole assembly would be ideal. Let's see. Oh yeah, easy. That one's looking good. Get a clamp on this one. This one's the one that's freaking hammered, as you can see. But I wonder if I squeeze that, if it'll kind of bring it closer for me. Let's see. A little bit. Ooh. Don't do that. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, this one needs a little bit more, but that's looking real good. I've had paint stripper chilling on this. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Coming right off. So we. Well, I got the paint stripped, or most of it, and someone did some quality prep work to this thing. I mean, seriously, they were, they were really wanting that paint to stick. So I'm going to take a blade to that and clean it up. Sadly, I was hoping it was going to be nice underneath, but yeah, if they wouldn't have scratched it up, it would have been decent. That's for sure. But anyway, got the uh, diff skid off and we're going to see what this fluid looks like. And we're hopefully going to have fluid in here, ideally. But let's... Oh yeah. Okay, well, that's uh, <laughs> not what I wanted to see. Gosh, well, at least there's a little bit in there. And honestly, it's not even, it's not gonna focus, but, oops. Honestly, it's not even bad. All right, whatever. It's not good, but it's not horrible. All righty. All right, here's an update. She's not perfect, man. They really freaking scratched it deep, but they must have been using two grit sandpaper, maybe one grit, maybe just a handful of sand. But anyway, comparing, not bad at all. So I'm just gonna do this other side and get her. Well, she ain't perfect, far from it. But when I'm flying by at 69 miles an hour, she's gonna look mint. Oh, baby. That's looking good. I am like ecstatic with that. Um, this tab was bent in right there. So I bent it out, put a washer in there. She works really nice. And it's very solid. It's not going anywhere. But holy cow, that turns the whole bike around, honestly, compared to this ugly piece of crap. That's all busted up. But I got diff fluid put in. Not much came out, so I think it's gonna enjoy that. I'm gonna order a battery. When the battery comes, I'm gonna do the cage and blah, blah, blah. And I'm, I think the next thing I'm gonna do is get the metal tank on there. Oh, but these, these levers are very straight. It doesn't look straight, hold on. Yep, very straight, very straight. And these levers, for whatever reason, <clears throat> it got flipped, <clears throat> not by me, is very bent. So I'm gonna swap levers from this one which is nicer than that one. I'm gonna swap the levers. And I think that's it, honestly. I think this thing's done. And then I'm gonna go do some more wheelies because who doesn't love wheelies? That concludes this video. Um, I'm really pumped with this thing. It's a lot of fun. It rips good. The 
headlight came out absolutely minty like 10 times better than i thought um the front brake is way too tight as you can see they didn't line it up properly so i gotta fix that i'm gonna do new fork boots um metal tank i might order a new one of these i just ordered a battery and that's basically it maybe some spray paint make it look half decent it really needs a wash but oh and tires i ordered spacers so once that gets here tires but honestly it is a super fun beater and i'm pumped with it so thanks for watching if you made it this far congratulations i'm surprised um, subscribe if you want to see more low quality content. Hit the like. Thank you. Goodbye.